Today we pick up our Bible study in Revelation chapter 21, verse 8. This ends the quote from he who sat on the throne that began in Revelation chapter 21, verse 6, and is a continuance from the quote beginning in Revelation chapter 21, verse 5. The declaration to make all things new, as we see in Revelation chapter 21, verse 5, as quoted from the New King James Version, is then followed by a declaration that should be familiar to us all from the last words Jesus spoke as he died on the cross. It is finished, as we see in John chapter 19, verse 30, as compared to it is done, as we see here in Revelation chapter 21, verse 6. These things, all taking place together in layers, as is best explained for eternity, which knows no time but being explained individually for us in time to understand, are the events of the end of when God's wrath is poured out on the earth. It is done. A new Jerusalem comes down from heaven. He who sat on the throne declares his eternal being and his presence in dwelling with those whose names are found in the book of life. And in Revelation chapter 21 verse 8 is the revealing of the second death, which is for all those who will be thrown into the lake that burns with fire and brimstone. These include the cowardly, unbelieving, abominable, murderers, sexually immoral, sorcerers, idolaters, and all liars, as we see in Revelation chapter 21, verse 8. This is the command of those who will be thrown into the lake of fire and brimstone. This is a promise of those who will be thrown into the lake of fire and brimstone. This is an example of those who will be thrown into the lake of fire and brimstone. In each of these daily devotional Bible study lessons is to be found a command, a promise, or an example. Today we find them all three in the lesson of the end of the earth as we know it. But this is not something to fear or dread because we have also be, been given the way to escape God's wrath on this earth. We have been given instructions as to how we should live our lives and to what we should be seeking in life. We've also been instructed as to how we should not live our lives and the things we should flee from in this world. In the end, there will be no excuses for any of us. Yet we all have things we can work toward in presenting our lives to God through salvation in Christ and following the example he has set for us. We all have things stated in Revelation chapter 21, verse 8, that declare us unfit to find our name written in the book of life. And that is why we need the purity and forgiveness of Christ Jesus in our hearts, our souls, strength, and minds, as it is only through him in which we can come to know the Father. As the Bible teaches us in John chapter 3, verses 16 and 17, and in John chapter 14, verse 6. Dear Lord, you are the beginning and the end, the Alpha and the Omega. You created the earth and everything in it. You have given us the knowledge of sin and of the way in which we can be forgiven through Christ Jesus. And the example of the lives we should live as we walk in his footsteps striving to emulate the love that you have shown us in our lives. You have given us the command to obey, the example to follow, and the promise which will be fulfilled at your desire. Please open our eyes to see, our ears to hear, our minds to understand, and our hearts to receive your forgiveness and new life. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.